Well, hello there, everybody. How are you doing on this Saturday? Listen, I'm just doing a real quick video because um, what I discovered um, today after watching a video, it, well, and as my wife said, it really is, well, alarming. Um, so let me get right to it. I won't hold you up much. Um, so if you wear a mask, um, you know, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, some states are easing up, but for the most part, we've all known what the last year is, that you had to have one of these. And this is one that's quite popular. Um, you probably may have even worn one yourself. Um, this one here, I won't get into all the numbers, but you know what I'm talking about, right? All right. So, um, now I used a portable, um, microscope. This is a microscope camera. Um, it allows me to magnify up to 200 times magnification so it, it can get right in there and it's a great little device um i don't have any extra ports open or you know and or the, and i'll try to figure it out by maybe monday to see so saw this video where they were reporting and taking them right out of the packages uh and by the way i did this with two different types of masks so what my wife and I found is alarming. As you can see behind me, that's a Magellan fiber, right? Um, in fact, let me just show you a couple of them. So we have an idea. Um, this is the one you see behind me. These are more. And I want you to pay particular attention to this one. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here and um, let me show you the video that I, I shot this myself. So uh, are you ready? Here we go. As you can see, I am moving this mask here right here. Now, folks, I don't know what is in these black fibers, but it's really weird. Um, they're embedded in a lot of different masks. I mean, I've used two here. And when they get near heat and or moisture, like if you lick your finger and you put it near one of these strands, um, you'll see here in a second what happens. They remain pretty um, inanimate here. They're just, they're, they're static. But look, did you see what's happening over there? Now that is because I'm putting, you know, uh, moisture. And you can see that, and wait till you see this one coming up. Uh, and you can see all the fibers of this mask. And look at this one up here, folks. What the freak is that? It seems if you're breathing on these things, your breath is hot. It's coming from your lungs. It's moist. Um, and I don't know if these things detach. Uh, they, they seem... Some, like I said, this seem to be nothing more than a black fiber, but there's others that I don't know what's going on. Uh, it, my wife is a nurse where she's watching this and what I'm doing is literally taking this, this microscope and I am going over the fiber in the mask. And this is what you're seeing. And you can see there's other parts where there's nothing. That's exactly what you want to see in a mask. You want to see it as pristine, where the fibers that are, but then you get this. 
Now, I don't know. What, what, what do you want to say about this? Um, if you have access to a microscope and you can record and take pictures, uh, I'd love to see what you're finding in uh, the different mask. And again, these strands, whatever these black strands are, they, they seem to be inert. They really do. They did that. And, and, um, but again, there's certain others that, holy cow, Batman, um, it, it's, <laughs> they take on a life. Now, I don't know if this is a chemical reaction. Uh, watch this one right here. This is the one that I think really freaked my wife out. Did you see? Look at this. I'll let the video speak for itself. So I'm literally getting down and breathing into this, you know, where, you know, obviously we wanted to see what happens when you have uh, human breath uh, getting on one of these. And it seems to activate. I don't know if it activates all of them. I don't know if it takes a, a buildup of, you know, carbon monoxide. I don't know if it takes up a buildup of both heat and humidity um, or a combination of all. Some are very small. And again, you can see the smallest particles. Uh, this is 200 times magnification. So, and I have a little uh, booster on this where I can actually, when I capture something that I wanted to really see, I could, you know, bring in the application just a little bit more. So there you go. Uh, we can go back and take a look at, it. I don't know what these are again, um, but, and I'm going to be doing more uh, experiments on this to find out uh, what is going on here. But there's clearly something going on. I mean, come on, folks. That's just, I don't know what that is. Let me uh, get it back into frame. So I don't know what this, what these are. They look awfully familiar though, to the what's on my bat in the blue screen. So obviously something is afoot. Uh, I don't know what, um, it kind of beats my pair. It really does. Um, I'll be, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more experiments and to see exactly what's going on. Is this something in the manufacturing process? Um, why would there be, and I'm gonna write letters to these companies and show them the videos. I wanna know why are these black, I don't know what you wanna call it, um, threads, <laughs> fibers. Why are these fibers in these masks that were being mandated to breathe. Now, again, if you happen to be where you make your own mask, maybe there it's probably what the thing to look at. I don't know if there's anything in there. My concern is what we buy off the shelves and what many of us are required to, um, to put on, to do commerce. So, Wanted to just share this with you. Um, leave me your comments and we'll continue to investigate. All right. Have yourself a great uh, rest of the day. All right. Bye-bye.